Hey mate, and welcome to Old Mate Adventures. Hi, I'm Kel. And I'm Jed. In 2021, we quit the grind, sold everything and hit the road for a semi-retirement life. Follow us as we trek, camp and hunt our way around Australia and beyond. Kel's off to work. <laughs> Time to go to work, but not the good kind. No. Wow. Been a few months. Been a while. It was weird getting ready. October. Seven. Then, just got about seven months. <laughs> really should get my ass back to work. Yep. Go on. Got this. Yep. See how much I remember. Yep. Hearts, yeah. Give us a yellow if you need anything. Oh, other than another six months off? Yep. <laughs> Be good. See ya. House bitch. I know. Yeah, I've got another um, six days or so till I start work. So yeah, just got to do a fair bit of editing and um, finish off a couple of the rods and order some parts for a couple that need repairs. One day, uh, in the next couple of days, I'll get the boat out and go for a little zing around. Other than that, um, yeah, just getting a few jobs done over the next week. Not much at all happening in terms of fun stuff just get ahead a little bit and uh, I got some knife sharpening to do the Sabo for a couple of customers and um, and yeah that's about it back to work back to work Sabo we're chucking a little brisket on. Found it at the supermarket the other day. It's maybe a kilo, maybe. I'm uh, gonna try and put it in the rotisserie. Not too sure if it'll work or not, but I don't see why it wouldn't. I'm just gonna have a bit of brisket and um, got a couple of jobs to do tomorrow. And then I think uh, Wednesday, um, the wind's looking pretty good for a fish so I'm going to put the boat together tomorrow Arvo and uh, rain, hail or shine I oh, will get the boat out Wednesday for sure even if it's blowing its head off and the wind changes or whatever I'll just go bash up the creek or something go do something anyway uh, yeah it's been good but coming back to the, um, the old headland uh, nothing much has changed since last year we're in the exact same spot exact same um, caravan spot just gonna wait for the fire to die down and and then put this um, rotisserie brisket on see what happens
Action. Action. It's all right. <clears throat> Not exactly a glowing review. Um, just like a beef roast. Right. It's not. Um, it's not as tender as like a normal brisket is when it's done for like hours and hours. Which but um, is kind of to be expected. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't. It's got the flavour of one. It's mm -hmm. just um. A bit tougher. Yeah, still good, but I was hoping for better. <laughs> I was hoping to break some sort of brisket code. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, it tastes awesome. It's um, nowhere near as um, uh, dry as I thought it would turn out to be. I thought it was gonna be like pretty dry. That's why I left a lot of the fat on, but it seems to have still rendered most of it off and um, it's still- Still stayed nice and still, juicy. Yeah, yeah, it's good. Yeah. Another trailer park brisket. <laughs> Not as good as Tristo's though. <laughs> For you. Thank you very much. Whoa. Whoa, don't drop it. Better put that in. Just getting some shit sorted to um, put the boat together. And hopefully the Savo uh, go for a fish. Yeah, it's big tides at the moment. It's um, just coming off a full moon. But um, yeah, I've got to wait for this wind to die down, which is early Arvo, hopefully. So if that is the plan, I'm gonna launch in Headland uh, boat ramp in town. And I'm just gonna go from channel marker to channel marker and work my way out for a couple of Ks and then turn around and go the other side and then work my way back in. Done. Pretty much uh, ready to roll. Pretty happy with these um, little lights the old man made for me. A bit better than the whole light bar. today I uh, just wanted to get out in the water uh, the wind is actually pretty good I'm just gonna go from channel marker to channel marker work my way out a couple of K's to probably the last one before it sort of bends out and then um, go to the other side and just zigzag my way back channel of uh, 
brought the rods in. There's a big iron ore ship uh, coming up through the channel, so I just give him a wide berth, and it looks like out the back there is a uh, one coming in. So I'm just gonna rig up the little rod, and I've got some squid heads from um, from Ningaloo I've saved for bait. So I'll get a bit prepared, chop a couple of them up. Once the ships go past, I'll duck back in to the channel markers behind me and um, and throw a little bit of a bait. There was a, there was a few fish on the sort of mid 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 water. Uh, it's about ten and a half meters right where the pole is. So um, yeah. Anyway, I will um, prepare myself. tackle 50 red hook with a um got a little skirt going on here 35 it's a keeper the brain spike him and he's dead bleed him on the ice. The ship to go past. He's just um he's just there. They are absolutely massive. Doesn't matter um, how many times you see them and 
I work uh, right inside the port there, right next to him, and he just absolutely blows me away every time. I reckon they're pretty cool anyway. I'll wait for them to go past, uh, then I'll duck back in and, um, and have another fish on that pylon. And then I might jump over the other side and see what's there as well. Uh, it's a bit of a mixed bag. Uh, I've got two little um, coral trout, uh, some flag, a little blue bone, uh, just only that one size. Oh, the, the first flag I got was um, just, it was like 30 bang on. So Anyway, I'll just get out of their way. You gotta give it at least uh, 50 meters from the um, channel, but um, in a little boat like this, I'd give it a couple of hundred. I'm just gonna duck over to the other side and uh, see if there's anything hanging around that marker. It's all gone pretty quiet, just instantly, just sort of shut off, I don't know. It's been like peak hour with, um, with bloody tugboats. So I'm just gonna zip in, have a couple of drifts on that. If nothing, I'll just start making my way in. Uh, the wind's actually picking up a little bit and because it's going against the um, tide and they're such big tides, it's like a washing machine in this little boat. Um, I've really got to concentrate and make sure, uh, yeah, I don't get too out of control. But anyway, I'll um, I'll zip into here now. It's just there. Let's see how I go. Yep. Yep. Here we go. Not big. Flag. Another one. piercing out now. Uh, yeah, I bunny hopped to a few of the um, channel markers on the way back in and um, they're pretty shallow. They're only in about four and a half, five metres of water and um, there's nothing on them. Nothing on them. So anyway, there she goes. It instantly shut down. But uh, I got that one flag. I'll uh, fill that up and uh, yeah, probably have it for lunch tomorrow. some big ships. Um, the wind's actually dropped off again. But, um, yeah, I'm doing about three kilometers an hour <laughs> just with the tide. Anyway, I'll fill this up and, um, and then load the boat and head back.
speaking, little snake. 